Hello, this is Ashley Coonley, your IEEE Eta Kappa Nu Lambda Beta Chapter President. I am continuing the video that I left off with for the transient time domain sweep and the modifications to the PSPICE output graphs. For this one, I'm going to show you how to do the frequency AC sweep. In the previous video, we set this to zero because this doesn't really matter and I wanted to show that by setting this to zero, that everything still worked out fine. My gain came out the way that I was expecting it to. Everything was good. But when you do your AC sweep, this is zero, or if you delete this and don't fill in a value, this is gonna cause problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit my simulation profile. I'm gonna leave my probes where they are. And I am going to select AC sweep noise. I'm going to leave it on logarithmic scale, decade. You should do point, 10 points per decade. Starting frequency, you could do one. You could do a smaller frequency if you wanted to. Um, ending frequency, about a million, 10 million. Um, you could go larger if you wanted to. Really depends on the circuit that you're working with and what you're expecting. Um, so go ahead and once you have these settings in here, nothing else needs to be selected at this point, go ahead and select apply and okay. And let's run the simulation. All right. So in the beginning of the last video, when I didn't have my probes, it still gave me a black background with the tick marks for the X and the Y axes. And that was just because I didn't have the probes down. Here, I do have my probes down. However, the issue is, and PSPICE will give you these warnings in the output window. It says no AC sources, AC sweep ignored. So you can't really have an AC sweep if you don't have an AC source. So that's where that AC comes in, in this source here. So you can, you're gonna go ahead and set this equal to whatever your V amplitude is. You can change the value so that it's not the same. However, that is not going to be useful information for you. So if you wanna see what the frequency response of this operational amplifier is, for time domain at 100 millivolts, and you set this to 100 volts or 10 volts, even one volt, it's not going to behave in with the same data points that you need. So it might be similar just because of the magnitude that you're using, but it's really important that you just set AC equal to 100 millivolts or whatever your V amplitude is equal to here. So now that I have this set, I'm going to rerun this. So anytime you change something on your PSPICE circuit, you will need to update it. If it's as simple as dropping probes or removing probes, you do not need to rerun it. You can if you really would like to. So since I changed my AC value here, I'm gonna go ahead and try running this again. And there we go. So your professor will let you know what you're looking for. If you're looking for your 3 dB roll off or um, where you have some key points in here, they'll teach you how to read your Bode plots. But it's important to know that this AC value is really important. So when you're running your transient sweep, let's go back actually to the transient sweep. And we'll show that the AC, when we enter a value in for that, particular thing. It does not change your time domain transient uh, response that you're looking for. So we still have this here. So I'm going to go ahead and rerun my simulation. Because of my time step, it's going to take a little longer. So this is what I originally received in the previous video, and this is what I was expecting. So this didn't change anything, and just to prove this here in this video, I'm just gonna do zero. So let's go ahead and run this as well. Perfect. So when you're building your circuits, I would suggest that you just go ahead and set your AC equal to your V amplitude. 
and that will let you switch back and forth more easily between your transient um, simulation and your AC sweep simulation without fumbling around trying to figure out why something isn't working when your circuit is built correctly. It was just one number that you were missing somewhere. Uh, if you delete this, I believe you can double click on this and it will let you enter in some of the values or you can just delete the whole thing and replace it with a new V sign. Um, but that's all I have for the AC sweep. Happy simulating. Thank you.